Hey there, in this video, we are going to look at dividing fractions. So with dividing fractions, it's very similar to how we multiply where we do not need common denominators. But in order to um, divide fractions, we are going to keep the first fraction exactly how it is. Then we will change the division sign into a multiplication sign. And then we will take the second fraction and we will flip flop the top and the bottom. So we're going to switch places with the top, the numerator and the bottom, the denominator. So those are going to change places. And that is how we are going to set up our new problem that we will then multiply across the top and across the bottom like we did with multiplying fractions. So let's take a look at our first examples. On number one, we have three fourths divided by two fifths. So anytime we see division between fractions, we wanna rewrite it, leave the first one as three over four, division changes into multiplication, and then we switch the top and the bottom of the second fraction. So that becomes five over two. Now we just multiply across the top and we multiply across the bottom, and that's going to give us our new numerator and denominator. So three times five is 15. 4 times 2 is 8, so 15 over 8 is our final answer. We can't divide 15 and 8 by any whole number other than 1 on top and bottom, so that is simplified as far as we can go. On number 2, we have 4 fifths divided by 1 half. So again, we see that division between fractions. So we will leave 4 fifths. We will change the division to multiplication, and then we will swap the top and the bottom for 1 half. That will become 2 over 1. So when we do that, we multiply across the top, which is going to be four times two, which is eight, and across the bottom, which is five times one, which is five. So eight over five would be our final answer on that one. So in summary for dividing fractions, we rewrite the problem as multiplication by keeping the first fraction, changing the division into multiplication, and then we flip the second fraction. And to do that, we switch the top and the bottom of that second fraction. Once we've done that, we multiply like normal with fractions. So we multiply across the top and across the bottom, and we always, always, always want to simplify if possible. 